Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and today I'm going to be showing you something cool. It's going to be the main for all. Um, it comes in, I don't know how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 separate files. All of which are needed to play the various games. Um, they're around 2,000-ish working. Um, they're not perfect, um, but it works. Uh, they all have the same menu, so I'll just probably go into a couple and then uh, just show you what it looks like. Uh, I don't have anything in here, actually. Even though it shows games here, I actually don't know why it actually put these out. It wasn't supposed to, I don't think, but when I used a uh, clear main for all or whatever it's called, it uh it spit out quite a few other ones. Uh, I guess I'll show the Konami. I know I have a Konami one. I have Time Pilot. And uh, so we have a. Uh, you can change the end disk clock. You can change the bit depth. I mean the depth aspect um, uh, bit depth we have only three options 18 16 and auto um, it seems that uh, default is 8 bit it's kind of weird glitchy going back and forth but whatever NDS clock we have 336 we have 360 we have 384 we have 396 and we have 300 and if we continue on we have the video aspect we have scale best scale fast scale half size rotate normal sc rotate scale normal i guess rotate best rotate fast rotate half size normal scale horizontal i'm just gonna leave it at scale best video sync we have normal um looks like double buffer and then off and then brightness, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. Sound, we can't change anything, I think. I have not found a way. CPU clock, apparently we can change that. I don't exactly know what most of these options do. Audio clock, and uh, CPU cores is not used. Um, volume's not used. Cheats, uh, who needs cheats? And uh, all you do, press A to confirm, B to return, press A, and then on the top screen we have this great uh, little thing right here. This is of course a port of the uh, Dingo, Dingo uh, Mame for All, so it has that, I believe. I believe also the Mame for All for the Dingo also has that. Now uh, to press OK, um, you just press right and left, I mean left and then right around about the same time and then uh, of course on the bottom you have insert coin save screen and then return to menu I'm gonna dump in a couple of these and then uh, you'll watch me play one-handed alright for the most part this the, the game that oh damn well yeah, watch me suck. <laughs> I'm playing one-handed. One-handed. Oh god, I can't hold it. Ah! Oh my god, I'm alive. Yeah, but as you can see, um, this game seems to work fairly well. I've actually found it to be quite fun playing this one. And, uh, yeah. Somebody wanted to, uh, see how this was although it was more of a C just in general but this is one of the games specifically and so it's pretty it, it works pretty well it's not perfect the uh, sounds kind of awkward sometimes but for the most part it seems to work fine uh, if you look on the bottom here we have a uh, A to select game run B back and then LR to exit. I'm going to be using LR to exit. Alright. And then, uh. It's just, uh, soft resets the entire thing, so. I'll just, uh, grab another one somewhere. Um, 
kept all men have anything? Uh, here's something. Um, it has uh, various other things from the uh, the dingo port. Um, if you check out the what is it? The README. They are the standard in-game main controls. You have all this, all this, all this, all this, all this, all extra stuff that you can do. Um, I'll show you one screen that I'm probably able to do. You press select and B. You get to uh, have a little in-game menu. Um, you can change all that or whatnot. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but uh, I, I'm hoping, I, I, I would like to believe that these uh, are not misleading and they actually work, but uh, I can't exactly test it, because um, I, I actually have not been playing around with this for very long. I, I'm not the, I'm not the uh, retro retro gaming type, although I have played a couple of these before, um, I'm not saying that uh, I remember most of it. Um, I was probably too young for that, but um, yeah, you you got game information. It tells you a little bit about the game. You have uh, whatever what is this bookkeeping info, various other things. Although because it's the uh, Dingo port or whatever, um, it's not exactly easy to use the rest of this menu, such as the uh, input for this game. As you can see here, you have a huge list, but they all talk about joysticks and whatnot, and uh, supposedly you'd be able to change it somehow, but so far I have not been able to actually get it to change the way I want it, and uh, it just has not been working too nicely, so you're going to have to probably use default if you, unless you like amazing, you want to test it all, then go ahead be my guest I don't have, have like the greatest amount of time at, during these times I have uh, other stuff I must do but I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my day why not do something I like to do uh, so yeah um, it's pretty much all the same all of them uh, all of them look the same when you uh, open them up and uh, play the stuff if you uh, have one of these weird files, like just pretty much all of these here that you see, um, if it's like one of those messed up ones, I don't know what to call it, but it'll have like no files in it. So when you try and load it, it'll just give you a whole bunch of these. They cannot be run, and it's all missing stuff, and and then it'll bring you back. Luckily enough, it doesn't crash, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't have to worry, you just kind of have to remember which games you actually put on. And uh, I guess I'll go through and I'll show you how to actually uh, get the games to put on. Er, not exactly what I meant to say, but um, going off of GBA Temp, um, we have Kid Ice right here. And uh, I just kind of did a really quick Google, and this popped out, so I followed it, and it's pretty easy to follow. Um, if you get the uh, Clear Main Pro, uh, I have one right here. This is my Clear Main Pro folder, and uh, I just put two two extra folders. I put one that's called ROMs, the other one called DS2. I just put the ROMs that I wanted to test out a little bit. So as you can see, I I, I put only a couple of these just a couple and then uh, all you're supposed to do is get this clear mame.dat from the original download so if I go to my download screen and I go down to where is it uh, well I don't know where it is oh here we go so the uh, the main for all DS2 if you go check around a little bit you go into the main folder You'll see the little clear main dot dat right there. Just drag and drop, put it in wherever you want. I just happen to put it in here. You run the program. It gives you this, and then you uh, 
you click add dat, you add the dat file, then you click load update, and uh, just click rebuilder, and then you choose your folders. Choose these folders, and then uh, I'll just click build, rebuild, and then I'll go through the quick screen. I can click it, and then uh, yeah, I'll go through the screen, and then uh, it'll print out crap. And all you have to do is go into your DS2 folder or whatever you plan on calling it folder, and uh, you'll have a whole bunch of strange ones. You can delete all the ones that are one kilobyte, probably most of them anyway they should all be blank in mine and uh... yeah you have you have I, I put this one there I put that one there and you just drag and drop put them in the uh... name rom folder and then you can you can just run it uh... let's see if the brightness does anything put it a hundred well that didn't really seem to do anything at all um... but anyways it works. It works fairly well. Um, this is a game I used to play. This is one I actually remember playing. I like this game. And uh, it's Dig Dug. One of the only few games I remember playing way back when. Such a cool game. The sound is a little choppy um, for pretty much all games. Some of them don't have sound. Um, I need to insert coins. Insert more coins. Check that out. Look at my credits. I'm loaded. All right, let's try playing one-handed again. Uh, this is a long while ago. I remember playing. Oh, 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 no, no, no! Ah! Yeah. Big dog. Oh, bother. Well, yeah, you can see that it works. The sound works. Um, it's not quite as enjoyable as if you had, like, the original, of course. But, uh, it's, it's reasonable. I mean, you're on a... Oh, dang it. You're on a DS, and uh, it's not exactly the greatest tool for emulation. But, uh, it works. It works. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, it was scary right there. Oh, um, yeah. Oh. Alright, I got through one level. But yeah, it works well. Um, you can save screens. I'm, I'm not going to, but uh, you can. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can do about this? Um... Not really. That's that's about it. Um, if you want more details about the uh, Mame for All on the DS, I would suggest reading the README, which has a whole bunch of more indescriptive um, explanations of the features that I'm not going to read out loud to you because that would take too long. And uh, I kind of want to keep this video below my recent terrible terrible videos that I have not actually posted up to the public because those videos don't really need to be posted those are more just like replies to certain people who I had no idea of how to explain to them certain things except uh, by showing them and so that is what I did and yeah so MAME for all DS2 it works fairly well um, it's not the greatest. It's it's definitely not the greatest. I'm, I mean, I don't quite remember very many of the games that I tried, but Dig Dug, I remember it was a little bit a little bit better, but uh, not by too much. So, some games uh, actually have quite a bit of uh, terrible terribleness, I guess you could say. I mean, not all games run perfect or almost semi-playably perfect. Um, there are a couple games. I, I only found one that I got out of my random choosings that uh, actually was like that. If I can find where it is. Oh, here we go. 
Midnight Resistance. Yeah. It looked cool, so I tried it. But, uh, I can show you it really quick. And then I'm gonna stop the video. But, um, so if we continue on, Data East. Uh, way back in the day. I don't even remember most of these. But I remember playing some. <coughs> very, very faintly. Uh, anyways, insert coin. Alright. As you can probably tell, this is not exactly fast. It's, it's semi-playable, I mean, it's, it's not really the same experience that you'd usually get. Um, and plus, it's not exactly easy to, uh, to tilt your gun. I don't know how it was actually done, because I've actually never played this game beyond uh, right now. But, uh... Oh, shoot, I froze. Well, yeah, but, um... That was that. Uh, for you guys who have a DS2, um, I'd suggest you try it. Maybe uh, if you're old enough, you remember more of those games than I do. But uh, you know, you can uh, go back to those days, nostalgia in your pocket, or you can buy a better device and use that instead. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, that was the main for all for the DS2, and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you watch whatever I have next.